my name is Dr. Tishan. In this video, we are going to look at derivatives of logarithms, um, a little bit with base e, but m mostly what if the base is not e, all right? And this is my puppy Rosie over there. She's gonna sit in on our little discussion today. Okay, so here we go. Um, to differentiate logarithmic functions, if the base is e, here are your formulas. If you do have base e, natural log is the same thing as log base e, um, then u prime over u, whatever this is right here, you're going to take the derivative of it, put it over that, okay? Uh, what if the base is not e? What if you have log base 5, log base 2, log base 10? What if you have something where the base is not log base e? Um, just a little bit of tweak to the formula. It's to still, with your, you're still doing the u prime over u, but you have to add the natural log the base in there, okay? And these are theorems, these formulas um, proven to be true. So have to take a look at the proof because this is a video of how to use the formulas. We can talk about the whys a little bit later on. Anyways, let's take a look at the examples so we can just take a look at how these formulas work. So example number one, this is a natural log. Okay, so natural log. So this is natural log uh, and this is my u quantity right here. 2x plus 1 is my u quantity. So how do I find this derivative? I want to find y prime or dy dx, whatever you want to call it for notation. So fraction form, in the numerator of this fraction, you're going to put the derivative of this quantity. The derivative of 2x plus 1 is 2. And then you put it over 2x plus 1. Simplify if you can, but this is in simplified form. There's your derivative. All right, so, so this is what you do if there's a natural log. What if the base is not e? What if you have a base other than e? What if it's five or two or three or 10 or seven or something? All right, um, you're still gonna go through the same behavior, aren't we? So we wanna get this derivative, okay? I kept the expression the same. So my u quantity is two x plus one, but what do we do when the base is not e? We're gonna go through the same behavior. We're gonna take the derivative of the two x plus one, the derivative of that is two, we're going to put it over this, 2x plus 1. To, and then one more piece to add in the denominator, we have to multiply that by natural log, the base. Okay, and the base here is 5. So multiply that by natural log, the base, and here is our answer. So really, these two formulas, if you used the non-base E, the formula for other than base E, if you used it, on your natural log, you would still get the same answer, right? Because if we used this here, if we took natural log, if we take the derivative of 2x plus 1, it's 2, and we put it over u prime over u, if we multiply this denominator by natural log the base, you'd be multiplying it by natural log of e, which is equal to 1. So we don't need that up here. We don't need that natural log e up here. Natural log e is 1. So it's u prime over u, and then in the denominator, don't forget to multiply by natural log the base. Okay, let's do a couple more examples that are a little bit more involved that you will have to use some properties to simplify first. So here we go. So here's example number two. We want the derivative of natural log base two of x squared uh, plus nine raised to the fourth power. All right, now always with logarithms, doesn't matter what the base is, you should use your properties to simplify first. It's so much easier. Use your properties. So, so what does the property tell us we can do here? Well, when you have this quantity to a power, we can drop that power around front, go back and take a look at your logarithmic properties, okay? So no calculus yet. We're just going to go ahead and drop that four around front times the log base two of x squared plus nine. Using the properties really makes things a lot easier when you're working with differentiation with logarithmic functions. All right, now let's go ahead and find the derivative. Call it y prime, call it dy dx, whatever your notation is, okay? We're gonna find the derivative of y with respect to x. We have a constant out front, so we can just bring the constant down, all right? And then here we go, we're going to, this is our u quantity right here, we're gonna take the u prime over u times natural log a, so a fraction, okay? All right, and so what goes in the numerator, the derivative, the derivative of x squared plus nine, derivative of x squared is two x, derivative of a constant is zero, and then put it over this quantity. So you're gonna put it over x squared plus nine, and then you have to multiply by natural log, the base is two, all right? So we brought the four down, and then we went through our formula. We did the u prime over u, natural log the base, okay? So u prime, the derivative of this, over that quantity times natural log the base. And I could go one more step and I could go ahead and simplify this and multiply the four by the two. So final answer dy dx here. Well, it's four times two, so let's call it eight x over 
the quantity of x squared plus 9 times natural log, and the base was 2. All right, um, so here is the answer, and uh, it's manageable and not too bad when you use your properties to simplify first. Use your properties to simplify first, and then we're just u prime over the u times natural log the base for the formula for the uh, derivative of natural log. All right, let's try one more example. All right, so one more example. So again, let's use the properties to simplify first. So how do the properties work here? Log base 10, we're gonna take the derivative of log base 10 of x squared plus one over x. Here, we're to use our properties to simplify. When you take a log of a quotient, you can write it as two logs and you can subtract them, all right? So no calculus yet, we're just gonna rewrite this. This is gonna be log base 10 of the numerator, x squared plus one, minus log base 10 of the denominator, which is x. All right, properties of log. So if you have log of a product, you're gonna separate that to this two logs and you're gonna add them together. Okay, first piece times second piece. Log of a quotient, you can break that to the difference of two logs. All right, and if you have log quantity to a power, the power can come out from. All right, so now let's go ahead and find our derivative. So we have two problems, one here. We have to find the derivative of each of these log terms, okay? So um, here we go. So this is our u quantity for the first logarithm. So you take the derivative of this, it's 2x, okay? Over this quantity, x squared plus 1, natural log the base, all right? u prime over u ln a, all right? And then let's do it over here again, okay? So fraction form, we're going to take the derivative of this, derivative of x is 1, over x natural log the base. All right, u prime over u ln a. All right, so the blue ink here is the calculus step. So here's what we did. We applied the rule. Derivative u prime over u ln a. So probably need to write it as one term. Probably need to write our answer as uh, get a common denominator and write this as one term. So let's clean it up a little bit and write it as one term. So dy dx. Okay, so let's see. We have the two fractions. So to write it as one term, we need a common denominator. All right, what do we have common to these two? We need an x, and we need an x squared plus 1. We need a natural log 10, okay? So it looks like we need an x and an x squared plus 1 and a natural log 10. So this fact, we need an x. We need the x squared plus 1. We need natural log 10, okay? So that's what we need for our common denominator, all right? First fraction, all right? Bring down the 2x. Bring down the 2x, all right? And what do we need? Well. We have the x squared plus 1, we have the natural log 10, it looks like we need the x, all right? Second fraction, we're multiplying by 1, okay? So it's going to be 1 times, let's see what we need here, okay, let's see. So we have the x and we have the natural log 10, this fraction, it looks like we need the x squared plus 1, okay? So it looks like we need the x squared plus 1, all right? So... What do we have here? We're going to keep this denominator, and we're going to combine the numerator so we can have our answers. So the denominator, what do we have for the denominator? I'll write it the same order. x, we have x squared plus 1, and we have natural log 10. Those are the pieces in the denominator. The numerator, we have 2x squared, right, minus 1x squared. So that's going to give me an x squared, okay? And then be careful here when you're distributing the negative sign. So that's going to distribute, so that's going to be a minus 1, all right? So we have 2x squared minus 1x squared, okay? Combine that so you get x squared and then minus 1, all right? Um, anything simplify here? No, it doesn't. So it looks like this is our answer, all right? So here we go. Um, and this is our answer. And, um, and here, before puppy dog gets that marker that fell, I see you eyeballing it, Rosie. And that's it. So here is how we are going to find derivatives of logarithmic functions when the base is not e, okay? When the base is e, u prime over u, but when the base is not e, you've got that little extra natural log the base component um, to, um, to put into the denominator, okay? So here's how these formulas work, all right? I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Rosie, good job. You're such a good girl.